So the tech community has been raving about Google's BERT, and we're not talking about BERT and Ernie from Sesame Street. <laughs> we're talking about Google's brand new BERT, which stands for Bidirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers. That's just a fancy way of saying that Google has implemented a new search algorithm that uses neural networking techniques to better understand the intentions behind queries. So if you go on tech sites like TechCrunch and The Verge, they talk about this in detail. I saw it all over the news, including CNN. So what does this mean? Effectively, it means that 10% of searches will be affected and those 10% of the searches will have better search results because Google will better understand what you mean. Now, 10% may not sound a lot, but when you have billions of search results every day from different users, 10% would amount to millions of searches for now. So I think that's pretty exciting. You can't tell the difference between a BERT and a non-BERT search result, but Google says that it will use BERT to enhance the search results. BERT marks the first time Google is using the latest tensor processing unit, the TPU chips to serve search results. What does this all mean? It means that Google search is now better able to understand exactly what you're looking for and provide more relevant search results and featured snippets. To better understand this, let's say that you're searching for the phrase, can you get medicine for someone pharmacy? The old Google search algorithm treated that sentence as a bag of words according to Pandu Nayak, Google Fellow and VP of Search. So it looked at the important words, medicine and pharmacy, and simply returned local results. Now, the new algorithm, according to The Verge, was able to understand the context of the words for someone to realize it was a question about whether you would pick up somebody else's prescription and it returned the right results. So if you want to know how BERT works, the way BERT recognizes that it should pay attention to those words is basically by self-learning on a titanic game of Mad Libs, Google takes a corpus of English sentences and randomly removes 15% of the words. Then BERT is set to the task of figuring out what these words ought to be. Over time, that kind of training turns out to be remarkably effective at making an NLP model understand context. This is according to Jeff Dean. Google Senior Fellow and SVP of Research. So what does this mean to you? It means that you're going to be getting better search results, at least in the United States, but you will not know whether or not it's going to be BERT generated search results. So, so why is this big? Well, according to Google, this is one of the biggest enhancements it has had in five years. Thanks for watching this video. Happy search results.